Well, I pretty much got this off eBay. This is what it says on here. Took a while for it to arrive, and now I'm going to basically put together a portable Chromebook. I'm sure you've seen a video of me talking about Chromos, or Chromium operating system. This is from actually, this is actually from a Chromebook. And, uh, it's a Kingston 16 gigabyte SSD. M2 type. So, and that's the other SSD. I benchmarked, that's a light on 256 gigabyte. I verified this one. This one was actually found in the trash. And surprisingly, it worked. It was with a bunch of electronic and obsolete electronics kit. So I took the time to benchmark it and it has sustained write speeds, which is good. Actually good. I even blew through the cache just to do that. You know, you know, discs actually works well with this. Now, this one, the write speeds were much lower. On par with just above USB 2.0 so this one's ideal because I'll be using it with 2.0 ports and 3.0 on a laptop anyways I'm just gonna put this together and we'll see in a bit it also comes with an OTG adapter which I could just cut off because don't really need it oh yeah the other part is I had to use hot glue on this part here in order to put the screw in it was missing the actual screw socket in there which is ironically just too bad so that solved it after about half an hour of uh, working it out you know snug put it in because the hot glue is on the other side so yeah bit snug but it goes in there we go let's put the top on it's not put together. Nice. Don't need this no more. I can put this back. I can put this back in a safe place. Put the screwdriver away. The long, tedious process of waiting for it to finish writing to the flash drive now. Because I have to redo it. And then I can get it installed on the SSD. Now, to reboot. This is often very quickly and whoever says it takes that long with a hard disk is just wrong. Now let's boot onto the newly flash stick. <laughs> okay, that I've never encountered before. I want to trigger the bootloader. There we are. I was trying to boot from the real tech one. That's the one I want. And here we go. It's gonna take a while. Reads off the disk and then bingo. Yeah. The wrong resolution, but there it is booting. Because it's the wrong resolution, it shows that. 1920 by 1080, not what this thing is designed for. And I will resume once I get to the desktop to get this shit installed. Hopefully without problems. Hi, here we are. Common white screen. There's a shutdown icon. There we are. Oh, let's go. Yeah, it's already connected. Next. Loading. See the Google sign there. And current version as of this video, 89.4.44. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Set to continue. And, uh, well, I can't skip that part, so I have to sign in and see more options. Ah, okay, fuck that. All right, I'll skip this part. Not on video. Logged in. Yes, yes, yes. Review, review sync files. Yes. Now, we're going to get this installed. Doesn't show anything about that. Oh. Right, it's detecting the graphics. Give that a moment. There we are. Wondering what that was for. Close. Yes. 
That's just for add-ons. Now it's for cloud ready. I'll just minimize that. Okay, I'll just ignore that. Close that off. Okay, let's get this installed if it allows me to. Uh How do you install it? Play it all okay. Settings. See if we can get this installed now. Should give an option to do that. Advanced. Guess not. Device maybe. How do you install this shit? Alright, I gotta figure this out. This is weird. I thought this was going to take uh, no longer than 20 minutes. Well, since uh, it's installed with that SSD, I expect it's going to take at least an hour. Yep. One hour to install. It's installed. Now I just configure it the way I want it to be configured. And that's it. Yep. This could take a while.